For that, let's talk about Indian hotels. That's moving higher as the company reports a resilient performance in an otherwise seasonally weak quarter. The management commentary on the July pickup and hotel openings also excites the street. Mangalam joins in with the details. Mangalam, 8% gain now. 8% higher in today's trading session and that's largely because, you know, the companies posted a resilient performance in what was a seasonally weak quarter. Remember the first quarter we had the elections and as a result of which there was the code of conduct that took away a lot of business from all these hotels. At the same time there was the big heat wave which prevented people from travelling as well. And add to all of this, the large contributor to the hotel business which is the weddings, we had lower number of wedding dates as well. So 25% lesser revenue coming in on account of uh, you know lesser wedding dates from that part of the business for the company. Despite that, what is it that the company did? reported a record performance in the first quarter when it comes to absolute numbers. So there was a 5.5% growth on the top line. Uh, they managed to hold on to their costs and as a result of which, you know, margins improved by about uh, 100 basis points to 29% as well. And the net profit reported a double-digit growth around 11.7%. Add to that, there was a slight increase in domestic op occupancy by about 1% to 76%. And average room rates also increased by about 2% to just shy of uh, the 10,000 mark. 9,900 rupees is what the company reported. But in light of this 5.5% top-line growth, the company did continue to maintain their double-digit revenue growth guidance for the full year because now things are improving. They said that post uh, the first quarter, there was a jump in uh, uh, you know demand in July itself. In fact, speaking to CNBC, Puneet Chatwal said that July 2024 so far has actually been 20% higher over last July. That's not all. This year, they are poised to opening 25 new hotels and they will open at least two to three new hotels uh, outside of India as well, including a trophy asset in Frankfurt, Germany. So all these things, uh, along with increased wedding dates in the second half, makes uh, the outlook very good for not only the travel industry, but I'll also be watching out for what, you know, something like uh, the other Tata Group company, Titan or Kalyan Jewelers or Senko report in terms of the second half for the wedding jewellery as well. If wedding is supposed to be the driver of hotels, then jewelries would uh, definitely benefit a lot more. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. Dipan Mehta from Elixir Equities is with us. Dipan, the entire hotel industry